In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom frame in Canva. So here I've got a paint splatter, which we can use as a custom frame. And I'm going to show you how you can get this done using a feature in Canva. So you can use any image as a custom frame. So it's up to you to decide what that image will be. For me, I've just gone to Google and I've Google searched paint splatter and we're going to use this image. Now, what you need to do is you need to find your image and then go ahead and download it. So I just went ahead and downloaded this image by save image as. Now, one thing to note, when you do download your image, if you click on it, you'll notice that this image isn't transparent. So if we try to convert this right away into a frame, it would just act as a square frame, right? Because the background and the actual image will blend into one. What we actually have to do is remove the background and make the image transparent. Now, if you've got Canva Pro, you can do it inside of that Canva Pro. If not, though, just go to photop.com. Now, all we're going to be doing with Photo P is removing the background. So follow along. This is very easy. You want to go to Photo P and open the image that you've downloaded into Photo P. Now go to the Erase button here on the left. Hold down on it and you want to go to the Magic Eraser. From here, you can click on the background and notice what happens. It actually removes the whole background. Now we can go ahead and go to File. And all we need to do is export this as a PNG and we can save this. So now we've got this image with the background removed. Now let's upload it to Canva and create a frame with it. So once you're inside a project inside a Canva, you need to go to apps and then go ahead and go to this following app. So the app that you want to search for here is image to frame. So go ahead and search for that. And then you should see here image to frame click on image to frame and then this is free by the way you can go ahead and choose your file and you want to choose the file that you've just exported from photop the file with the removed background then click open then add frame to design and that will add this frame of any image by the way to your canva design which you can enlarge as you please so here is this paint splatter now we can go to uploads we can find a picture and we can drag it on and use this custom frame here as a working frame so that's pretty much all you've got to do i hope that helped you out